This is Portrait of a Nation. When the first Europeans arrived, getting to the end of the 15th century, they found so much gold, that is why it was named the Gold Coast. It was also the time of the discoveries, the great explorations. So as the Gold Coast was discovered, then you got to the Americas were also discovered. And they wanted to have plantations grow cotton, grow tobacco, grow sugar cane. And they discovered that the Africans they came to meet were very strong. So the Gold Coast became more or less like a slave coast. Ancient forts recall the latter centuries, an era of traders from Europe, a time of gold and slavery, a time of darkness. Emilia Castle was building. 1482 by the Portuguese to protect what they had discovered. It was the first fortification that was built for the trade. So along the coast were dotted quite a number of these fortifications where slaves were kept and shipped off to the Americas. One second past midnight, March the 6th, 1957. The moment has come. Here in West Africa, a nation is born. Ghana is free. Ghana was the first country in sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence, and it was great news for Ghana and the rest of Africa. Fortunately, we had a leader, Kwame Nkrumah, who had experience a bit of racism in the Americas, who had lived in Britain before, and so who was quite passionate about the rights of Ghanaians to take care of themselves. He said we prefer independence with danger than servitude in tranquility. 